Welcome to Quick Poker, everybody. I'm Frank Carlino. You are not going to believe this fold. It's Bankroll Challenge Day 13. Collect our daily bonus together. Look at that. 323 straight days of collecting daily bonuses. Up to 128.9. Started with a quarter, now we're here. 13 days, a quarter into 128. You, you're never going to believe I made this fold last night. With the uh, pair of kings, quick uh, preamble. I don't know if I'm using that word in the right context, but I'm playing really tight and really conservative and not like my normal self. You know me as the Breslinator, which some people call me. Bit of a loose cannon. Here's one of the many conservative folds I made. So I've been opening to three big blinds, a little bit nittier than my uh, usual 3.5. A call from the small blind. This player is named Sam B. Jammin. Now, Sam B. Jammin is kind of a rag. Uh, Sam, if you are watching this video, you need to please, please let me know if you had what I think you had. So we open kings. We don't get three bet. By the way, this table was playing super tight. Okay, Sam B. Jammin was over here. He was playing extremely tight. One of those like auto fold games. Like everybody was on auto fold. Nine, 10, five. Okay, we like that flop, right? Sets beat us, but we're not really worried. Yes, low play days is obviously we're comfortable. Lost a lot of draws out there. So King Jack and Queen Jack are throws out there. Uh, draws seven, eight. I mean, hands like top air, not gonna fold. So what's he just flatting the small blind with? Next to me, pot. I go for like a, uh, about a little more than quarter pot. He goes for the check call. Okay, so I binked the king. And now I'm hoping he has a set. But I am in the back of my head being like, wow, imagine he has queen jack. Queen jack just got there. I mean, he's obviously going to never fold the flop. 9-10-5 flop with queen jack. So right now, if he has queen jack, this is a super cooler. But obviously, I can't check. That would be like way too nitty, obviously. So I'm going to I'm gonna bet hoping to not get check raise. Queen jack suited as a hand. People are going to be just calling out of the small blind and not three betting. And when it's suited, they can't resist. I mean, even though maybe they should just fold because they're out of position, queen jack suited, people can't resist. I bet, praying not to get raised. I don't want to, I want to get just called. Okay, half pot, and then he, he raises to 235. Immediately I thought, queen jack, definitely has queen jack. What else is he? Turn check raises are not bluffs very often. Especially at 10-0 limit, it's a lower stake. Turn check raises as bluffs, rare. I have played a lot. Trust me, it's rare. So my instinct is I'm going to just call and pray the board pairs. Most people here just jam in his face and probably lose to clean jack. I am going to just call, and I'm praying. I am praying the board pairs. What's his other possible raise on the flop that I'm beating? Sets of five, sets of nine, sets of tens. Uh, would he check those sets? Would he check raise those flops, uh, those on the flop? Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to know that information. He's going to check raise his his sets of nines and tens on a jack 10 flop more often because that connects more with my broadways that want to call, like my ace queens, ace kings. But I think on a 9 10 flop, he still is going to check call his sets. However, I still think he has queen jack, despite the fact that maybe he could be doing this with a set. So I just call, and then the board doesn't pair. So now I'm just praying he doesn't go all in. Because if he goes all in, he has to have queen jack if he goes all in. So please don't go all in. Please don't go all in. Sam B. Jammin, bro, if you ever see this, please let me know what you had. I know you had queen jack. So I'm so all right. So I'm, I'm running out of time bank. He, he does go all in. I was taking so long on my decisions because I'm really trying to play well anyway. So I, I'm praying that he does have queen jack now because I know I'm going to fold and I'm running out of time bake and I just muck it and he never shows would you have folded with he bet 775 on the river I'm telling you bro he has queen jack open doesn't three bet he he might not he might not three bet uh pocket nines or tens also but he probably will three bet that because I know I have him as with a red tag so he's a little bit savvy of a player but some people just don't like to three bet out of position even pocket nines and pocket tens because they want to play more conservatively but queen jack is something that he's going to flat the small line with watch i bet all right he check calls now he checks he could also raise big with queen jack because he knows the king hit me and if he thinks i have ace king or pocket kings or even you know lower sets he's going to want to get value he's going to target those hands if he's a smarter player he'll target those hands 
So he he's going to go for for a huge value here. I think he has queen jack, man. I still think. Now watch. I'm going to now. Is he going to bet it all? Five point nine in the pot, and he bets seven seventy five. I mean, that's an over bet. Um, that's going to cripple my stack. I don't have a large bankroll. I'm not even really supposed to be playing ten no limit with only one hundred and twenty dollars in my account. Like I said the other day, I should have two hundred and fifty in my account to even be playing this. So, yeah, I make the fold, and I stand by this fold. Okay. I think it was the right fold. I think he definitely has Queen Jack. And um, I love the fold. And um, could he be taking something like Ace-4 of Diamonds and turning it into a bluff? I doubt it because how is he going to call the flop? Is he turning like, does he actually have two pair? I don't know. I blocked the shit out of King-10. Um, does he know two pair with King-9 or 9-10 is going to be too thin? Also, he doesn't know if I have Queen Jack because my range is fairly wide too because I'm raising from late position. So he, he's got to be afraid if he has two pair or said that I have queen jack. I really, really think he had queen jack. One more interesting hand from last night. Uh, I'm playing with this guy who's uh, kind of, um, I don't think he's that great of a player. So I'm going to call for a min raise. And he's been raising from the small blind a lot. So what is he min raising with here? So he checks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet small to see what he does. And he goes, and it's a multi-way pot, but he goes for the check call. So we're, we're basically focused on this player here. He checks again. All right, so now I have the club blocker. So I'm pretty protected by the fact that nobody else could have the nuts, and I still could have the nuts. However, when players aren't that good, they're not going to care that you might have the nuts. Okay, if he has a lower flush or something, he's still going to call. If, if he has a, a set or top pair or ace-queen, two pair, he's still going to call. So this is the kind of situation where if you had – also, the three of clubs, but I don't. I just have one club, but he doesn't know that. If you had the ace high flush, you should push hard here, okay? Because they're not going to fold anyway, but I don't. So I have to proceed cautiously because people aren't going to fold because they're just not good enough. That's my logic. Tell me why I'm wrong in the comments. All right, so I'm going to put in a 75% pot bet because I actually think I'm ahead of hands like, you know, pocket kings, queen king, some sort of pocket tens and something. So some sticky broadways that don't want to fold. But I'm protected by the fact that I have the ace of clubs. So what, what's he going to do if I bet? He goes for the check call again. All right, then he checks to me. So now I'm thinking forever. I don't want to just check this back. I don't feel like he has an ace. I do not want to get raised. But I can't just check back. I got to play better. I got to play as good as possible. I got to bet the river when I'm ahead. I got to go for thin value. You got to go for thin value. It's very important. You can't just, you can't just check this back. I got to bet here. But I'm thinking... All right, so what bet size do I use? I'm thinking forever. If I bet too big, it's too thin, right? Because then he can only call. He's not, if he does have queen king, he's not really going to. Maybe I should just bet small because that's the only way I'm going to get a little more value. So, yeah, I want that extra 30 cents, and I'm going to bet it. So now I'm going to play. So then, look, he's, after I bet the 30 cents, he snap raises. What? So here, in real time, this is how long I was thinking about it. Look, I'm thinking about it forever. Did he have ace, queen, and because I bet small, he thinks... So I'm thinking about jamming in his face. I have the ace blocker, right? If he check raises the, on the river and I still jam in his face, he has to fold. I have the ace club blocker. But then I'm thinking, this player is not that good. So he'll just call anyway. So all these high-level plays you think you should be making, should you even really be making them if the player doesn't even understand the play? So my first instinct... So if I was playing against my boy, Dean Screwy, or from Chi from Chum, somebody like that. So, so some of these players that I think are good or, you know, you got I call too much, players like that. I would jam right here because I know they play poker well. And I know they can't call. And I know they know that if they check raise and I jam, even though I, I'm turning my pair into a bluff, they can't call. Then I have to have the flush. So I would do that against those players. But against this player, I just think he's just going to call anyway. So I just changed my mind and don't j bluff jam. But then I'm thinking, how could he have anything? What is he raising with? Is he so comfortable with ace-queen now because I bet small that now he's raising? What does he have? I really still feel like he had queen-king or something with the king of clubs. And now he's doing some weird bluff. And uh, I can't be his value range, so I'm thinking about it forever, but I just couldn't bring myself to fold. I really think my small bet induced something. I wind up eventually making the call, and wait till you see what he had. So he has pocket jacks with the jack of clubs. 
So is that some sort of bluff? Is he? Yeah. Or is he actually going for extremely thin value against a five? Or is that some bluff that's never going to work? I don't know, but this was a weird hand. But, you know, I'm glad I, I bet the river there because it resulted in me in winning a lot of extra big blinds. That's all I got for you today. We only need 500 subscribers to get monetized. Fan B Jammin', please let me know what you had if you ever watched this. Check out this video right here if you want to see some higher stakes poker and you don't like the uh, slow grind that we're doing now.